Merry Christmas! It's Christmas! Just like the song. I wonder if it's Bean. Has Santa Bean? I can tell he's Bean because his living room's a mess. It's Bean! Zara! Look! Christmas cap. Also, Christmas present. I'm wearing those pyjamas that I got in my uh, my Christmas Eve box yesterday. Yes. And they're comfortable. So we've just uh, had a bacon and egg sandwich. Yeah. Santa's also brought me a cold for Christmas, so that's great. <laughs> Um, so on top of everything else that she's got or had, she's now got a cold too, so that's fun. I'm not, I don't like actually feel ill. Just but my, face my god, hurts. don't I know about it. So I'm just gonna drug up, drink alcohol, and get on with the day. <laughs> that's not sound advice, kids, but. It'll be fine. <laughs> anyway, shall we open some yeah. presents? Obviously, we're not gonna film tons today because um, it's Christmas Day, but like we do this for us as well, so. I'm gonna film like little snippets. Yeah. And then we'll probably do like a big thing towards the end about like what we got and stuff. That's probably the better option. We're just making this up and yeah. you're along for the ride, so. Go with it, go with the flow. Enjoy. Also, I'm super jealous by the way because our friends, Mr. David and Mr. Ian, oh, yes. from their vlog, they've gone to Florida today or yesterday. No, they travel today, so they'll get there like tonight, so they get to spend Christmas Day night in Disney. I want to go to Florida. And we're in good old South Yorkshire. <laughs> so we got presents from family in these bags. So we're going to do that first. Yeah. Then we've got our stuff to each other. I don't even know what some of this stuff is. <laughs> we'll figure it out. This, then, there's a lot. Like, I know, I always feel like I have to say something. Like, I know this looks really, really indulgent. Um... But like neither of our parents are together, so it's separate presents from them as well. So it's not like we're spoiled. We're very appreciative of what we get, yeah. but there always looks to be more because it's coming from like four separate parents. By the way, there's nothing from my dad here. He gave me money. There is for me. They gave he gave me money when we went to the uh, Paul McCartney concert, so but, I could buy like programs and things. Yeah, you've had your present from your dad, but I've got a present from your dad. In a box down there. Yeah. So. We'll get to that later though. Yes. We've got an absolute mound of wrapping paper going on. And look who's in the middle of it. And look who's guarding his Christmas yeah, present. Yeah, the cats have also got a Christmas present over there. and From uh, their grandma. <laughs> and Dobby's, yeah, Buddy's guarding it with his life. Although, this guy's winning the show. Good catting. And here's some footage of Lauren opening things. Yay! We've also got a lot of edibles and drinkables. Like, like Lauren's mum and Colette pretty much gave us a party. Yes, they did. <laughs> like we've got drinks, we've got snacks, we've got shots. Ah, <laughs> oh, good oh, times. And this box is full of lush stuff and it smells so good. It actually does. So, any Disney people out there will get this reference. And it excites me so much. Like, this is my final box from Josh. For those of you that don't know, um, when you go to the Haunted Mansion ride at Disney, it says, like, welcome foolish mortals. Like that. And, like, for anyone who hasn't watched our Florida vlogs, the Haunted Mansion is our favourite ride, so the fact that clearly this box is going to be Haunted Mansion themed is, like, I'm buzzing, I need to get opening. <laughs> so... Uh, it's just in like a, a cardboard box, but there's like a few things. And I've got the first one here. So she's she's doing I've, them I've wrapping. Really wrapped it, but... You might as well see what this one is, guys. <sighs> it's it's the haunted mansion box. Like I nearly bought these in Florida, didn't I? Yeah. And then I was like, oh no, maybe not. But I've got them now. So this one's um, Volume 2, Midnight at Madame Leota's. Volume 2, so <laughs> let's have a guess what this one is. Would this one be Volume 1? Maybe. So a fair bit of time has passed. It's now 3 o'clock in the afternoon and I think we last vlogged at about 9 o'clock this morning. But hey ho, we've been busy. We've had lots of visitors. And we've got out of his pyjamas since then. But I have my sexy new slippers on. <laughs> wow. I've got like a really nice sparkly dress on. And then I put slippers on because my feet are absolutely freezing. Also, can we just point out these? No, can we Look not? Look at that. That is ridiculous. 
But yeah, um, Josh's mum got me these slippers and they're proper Ugg slippers from Australia because she lived in Australia for a year, um, like last year. But Buddy This year? Uh, 2018, yeah. dear. Oh no, she went in 2017 and lived there in 2018, yes. Yeah. So um, they are proper Ugg slippers from Australia, but because they're fluffy inside, Buddy took a bit of a liking to them this morning. And he tried to do sex to them. <laughs> yeah, he was like trying to hump them. So I had to move them out of his way, but they're now on my feet because he didn't quite succeed in humping them, so it was okay. <laughs> Dirty boy! <laughs> Go on, son. We've got this ridiculously big box. And it is big. Of like sweets and candies and chocolates and all sorts of things. But I took the lid off for like literally one second. I put it over here. Look who's asleep in it now. <laughs> when Christmas Day has been that much of a shocker, you have to go to bed in a, Chris in a box lid. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, I am sat here in my pyjamas and a Christmas hat. <laughs> but both cats have been extremely tired today. Like, unusually tired. We don't normally let them in when we're unwrapping presents. We normally lock them away, but we let them stay in the room when we're unwrapping presents. And it was like the best thing we could have done. So it was worn them out. Like, they were really good, but they were just playing in the paper. But it has knackered them, as you can see. <laughs> By the way, we had Christmas dinner, and that was lovely. And, and we didn't film any of Yeah, it. we filmed, like, literally none of it, but that's okay, <laughs> because... Christmas, and then what we're doing now is we're watching Paul O'Grady's For the Love of Dogs on TV, Christmas special. Because it's great. And then we're gonna like drink and play beer pong. Before Mrs. Brown's boys is on Yeah, later Mrs. Tonight. Brown's boys is on later tonight. And what I think we're gonna do is rather than like drinking and everything and then editing this vlog afterwards, I'm just gonna combine Christmas Day and Boxing Day together yeah. and do like one longer vlog. Lauren keeps chipping in, she's sat over there, she's not even stood up to interject. No one wants to edit on Christmas Day. Nah. Knock knock. Who's there? It's me, and I'm winning Lauren at beer pong. It's she is actually joke. terrible. She cannot aim to save her life. Like, if, if the cups were below this ball, and she dropped it from about an inch above it, she'd still miss. She's so bad at beer pong. The problem so is... So bad. She's so bad. The problem is, Josh is fairly good at it. So I've drunk quite a lot, but I'm very full because I stupidly ate trifle before we started playing this. And like, I'm a little bit drunk now. Just just I'm move move full. this arm here. This one? Yeah, let's just... What am I doing? Look at, look at what Lauren's got through. Oh. Yeah. She's so bad at this game. Compared to me, like, I'm fine. She ain't. I'm not. Also, can we just appreciate, it's exactly the same shape. Look at that, it fits perfectly. It's even got a crown on. <laughs> it's Christmas, everyone. Ping pong ball head Christmas. And just like that, it's Boxing Day morning. Um, Lauren got... Drunk playing beer pong. <laughs> you were drunk. Yeah. Because um, I lose. She's so bad at throwing. But I'm not hung over this morning. Yeah, no. I mean, I'm very ready for a turkey sandwich though. I was like ready for a turkey sandwich the moment I woke up. So that's going to be happening soon. <laughs> very soon. But first, um, Lauren wants pictures for a vlog. No, not vlog, for a blog. Yeah. Um, I always do like a um, what we got for Christmas blog post. Um, but we are going to show you some bits in the vlog as well. Um, but I will just say like what we said yesterday. We are very grateful for all of the presents. And it's not like bragging and boasting like, oh, look at all this that we've got. Like, I'm very nosy. I love seeing what people got for like Christmas and birthdays. The hands down like my favourite blog posts to read and my favourite vlogs to watch. Uh, which is purely why we're doing it. I don't read or watch those things. <laughs> I love them. <laughs> but let's have a look at what we got. Yes. So here's the pile of pretty much everything. There's like a few bits yeah. and pieces that we're... There's like pyjamas that we've not included because they're just so hard to photograph without looking a mess. Yeah, but, but these are all the yeah. sort of things we got. But this is like presents from each other and then 
presents from my dad, my mum, your mum, your dad. <laughs> also, in case you eagle eyed viewers have just noticed, yes, Lauren has wrote the cats a card. <laughs> Let's just get that out of the way because. So, yeah. um, like I so said, this is everything, but we are going to pick a few bits out to show you closer up. Obviously, like, not the smaller toiletries and things like that, but we're going to pick out a few bits to show you closer up so you can have a better look at what we got for Christmas. So I'm going to start over here in Boo's Corner. We've, <laughs> we've got... Basically start our own bar. Yeah, we've got one, two, three bottles of gin, a keg of, of beer. <laughs> we've got lots of little bottles of beer, a little couple of bottles of water. Little bottles of wine. And so then yeah. To go with those, we have a lady's gin glass, a gentleman's gin glass, and a pack of gin glasses down here. So I'm assuming everyone just thinks that we love gin, which so, is the correct assumption to make. In a way, we're being encouraged to drink. And then to add to the collection, we've got some more Funko Pops. Yes. Yeah. We need we need to discuss these guys. So. If you didn't know, we collect Funko Pops. We have, I don't even know how many we have now. Like a hundred and something. Well over a hundred. Yeah. So I got Josh the Hot Topic exclusive Lando Calrissian. Yes. Josh got me Phil from Hercules and the Vulptex from Star Wars because I think it's super cute. And then, obviously, aside from my engagement ring, my main present from Josh was this beauty do you know what like, it is i was so excited this probably won't mean a lot to people that aren't massive disney fans but this is a disney parks exclusive funko pop and it was released not long after we came back from disney world and haunted mansion is our favorite ride so this like was the best thing ever to open yesterday i loved it so much also i'm not going to tell how much it cost but in looking to buy that, like people were selling it for oh, ridiculous yeah. prices. People sell the parks exclusive pops for absolutely stupid prices, especially in the UK because you've just not really got a chance of getting them. But I got a bargain. Yeah. And he's so good. And he's gonna look so good on the Haunted Mansion shelf. Yeah. So um that, if you watch if you've watched the bit from earlier, is what was in the Foolish Mortals box that we filmed yesterday, along with some other Haunted Mansion themed items. Yeah. <coughs> A quick cat interlude. Dobby's boxing himself up. Because it's just all too much for this boy to resist a cardboard box. Boxes are so tempting, aren't they, Dobby? Classic. So we're gonna do like the generation game now and we're just gonna talk about things as we go along. <laughs> So, we've got some Disney pins. Well, we've got two oh, Star Wars Celebration pins yeah. and a Disney pin. Uh, a replica of Han Solo's dice, a grape soda badge, a Disney calendar, a Disney game, vouchers, um, two Paul McCartney Wings CDs, uh, some, some smelly... Yes, smelly like items, smelly, smelly corner. Like, just look at all my beautiful, lush things. And I'm going to have to show a closer up of this. I got me some Snow Fairy body spray. Like, I've got the Snow Fairy perfume from a couple of years ago, and it smells so good. It does. And this is amazing, too. And um, my dad also got me some perfume. Perfume! Then Lauren bought me as, as a main present. It's hard to describe what this is. Like, it's a lot of signs. I've only got like three out here, but there's I'm how many? I'm the other ones to show you now. How many in total, Lauren? Seven. Seven. There's seven signs, and all these are linked to Florida and Disney and stuff. And uh, so, like, we got Volcano Bay because when we went last, no, this year, yeah, it was the first time we've been to Volcano Bay. Similar, first time that we saw Not So Scary, Haunted Mansion's the best ride. Um, we've got a Grand Fiesta tour because that was the first ride that we went on when we went as a couple. Uh, we got Everest because we went on that far too many times this year. Uh, we got, what have we got? Discovery Cove because we did the dolphin swim uh, and I've never been there before which was awesome. And then finally, Illuminations because 
that's you know that's the ultimate firework display at Disney, even though it's going soon. So yeah, all these sort of link together with these little hooks. Yeah, and they're all they're, it's basically like I had it made for Josh, and it's all handmade, and it's all um, like our favourite moments from our Florida holiday. And I think we're going to hang it upstairs somewhere, aren't we? Yeah, we're going to hang it just the yes. yeah. So I've no doubt once it is hung, we will be showing you it. Well hung. Brilliant. And the final section is the book section. Book section. <laughs> so we've got Beano Annual because My you explained that one. always buys me the Beano like every year since forever. She's bought me a Beano Annual so it's just like a tradition now to unwrap a Beano Annual on Christmas morning. Then in my Haunted Mansion box there was this. I'll get it out. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> So in my Haunted Mansion box there was this, which is the Haunted Mansion comics, and apparently you said there were six of them. Yeah, it was a and six they edition comic. It all into one book. Which is cool. We don't really need to pull these ones out because you we'll, can see we'll them. We'll get the Haunted Mansion ones because they're amazing. Okay. But we've got gin cocktails. Woo! Um, the couple <laughs> yeah. of bottles that we've got. Uh, Crimes of Grindelwald screenplay. Harry Potter in the Chamber of Secrets, and that's the Hufflepuff cover. Because I am a Hufflepuff. Yeah. And then the final thing that was in my Haunted Mansion box were these two from Josh. So it's uh, the Haunted Mansion stories, so the Fearsome Farsome and Midnight at Madame Leota's. They were in the box from Josh. And then my dad got me the third one, so I have all three books now. And Whoa! they will look fabulous on the Haunted Mansion shelf. And last but not least is this mighty book of Mickey Mouse, which is a really, really nice book. We've got a bookshelf, like a bookcase upstairs full of like, I suppose what you term like, coffee table books. Yeah. It's going to be fancy. <laughs> um, but yeah, just really nice books and this will fit right in there because it let's, is Let's amazing. have a sneaky peek. We're doing this one-handed. This is well. so awkward and it's a huge book. But there's some cool stuff but in yeah. here. Yes. Yes! Is the goofy in here? Where's goofy? I'm, I'm assuming so, yes, but I've skipped quite a few pages, so... If there's no goofy, we're riot. Oh dear. We're not... There we go! Goof! Goof's my favourite. Do you know what? What? We've got to tidy all this up now. No, no one tidies away Christmas presents for no, at I don't mean least... To... I mean, days. yeah, no, we're not going to tidy it away and put it upstairs and put them, like, actually away. But yeah, mainly because I can't even think where to put. It's right in front of the telly because this is, like, prime photo space. Yeah. It needs to go back under the tree. Yeah. So the presents are all back under the tree, finally. We've just... Oh, oh. God, we've gone really dark. Come back. That's better. Um, so we've just had some, like, more turkey and mashed potato. Lauren's had bubble and squeak. Because bubble and fan. squeak is the best thing ever. I'm not a massive fan, so I just had a lot of mashed potato, a lot of turkey and a lot of Yorkshire pudding. And now I'm really full and I need to like lay on the floor for a little bit. Until he eats his chocolate gatto in a bit. Yeah. So, we're going to wrap it up. I need to go and edit this vlog and export it and all that fun stuff. Then we're going to watch TV because there's stuff on. And we're partaking in Big Fat Quiz of the Year. Yeah. And drinking. Yes. Lots of drinking. <laughs> So with that being said, we're going to get going. And we hope you all had a very Merry Christmas. Oh, you're making stuff up now. This is... Lauren's going off script. Am I? Yeah. Huh? You just go with them, I'll see you. No, you didn't even say that. No. No. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Bye. Bye.